Good day, brethren. This is Brother Jeff here. Just gonna do my first, uh, I guess you call it a sermon. Lifting up God's Word. It's upside down. KJV. Of course, this is a King James Bible, the Word of God. So the title of this sermon will be To Whom Shall We Go? To Whom Shall We Go? Thou has the word to life. Alrighty. So the biggest thing is there's so many I guess you call them heretics, false teachers, people that aren't part of the body of Christ putting all their filth out there on YouTube, tearing down the Word of God, other brethren, doing, doing whatever, teaching whatever, and it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be. So it's important that us brethren, saved, born again Bible believers, lift up the Word. As it says in John, turn to your Bible, John chapter 6, verse 68, then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. Do you have the words of eternal life? It's important. Now turn turn your Bible to Psalm 119, 107. Psalm 119, 107 says, I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word. See, if you're, uh, if you're not cleaving unto the word, you'll be afflicted and other things. And basically, you have a bunch of trouble. The more you drift away from the Lord and his word, the more trouble you're going to get. What I mean is that you'll be deceived by people, be misled, turned away from the Lord. It's not good. The most important thing is to lift up the word. Get the word in your life. KJV, King James, authorized version. And next, what else do I write? I'm just going over my sermon notes here. Colossians 3.16 3.16 Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns, spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Very important. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Very important. Very important. And how can you let it dwell in you richly if you don't have it? All right, let's go turn in your Bible to John 17, verse 14. Got a big Bible here. It's easier to read. Large, giant print. John 17, 14. Another scripture for you. Says Jesus said to the unto the disciples, I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. How true is that? A lot of hate, a lot of hate against God's word and God's people. It's true the world does. In my notes I wrote down the world hates the real word. All right, in the same chapter, let's go over a couple verses. To John 17, 17. This is one that a lot of the Bible believers would know off by heart. John 17, verse 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. I just want to go over some other scriptures. It seems to be um, 
a lot of the heretics out there are really confusing people and stuff so using the word we'll go to the proper scriptures here to try to get rid of some of that confusion the confusion is talking about the gospel and salvation Romans 10 8 Romans 10 8 but what saith it the word is nigh thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach Romans 10 9 pay attention that thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved confess with the mouth call on the Lord Romans 10 10 for with the heart man believe unto righteousness with the mouth confession is made unto salvation for the scripture saith Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed, for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. All. All that call upon him. So that eliminates Calvinism too. All. You can call him. Call him Lord. He'll save you. But you've got to have, it says, uh, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. The belief's got to come from the heart, not the head. And just to go over the gospel, if this is your first time checking out one of these videos, the gospel, in case you don't know, turn in your Bible to 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. We'll read that together. The gospel. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein you stand, by which also you are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. A lot of people believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures. We got the scriptures. Don't let, don't let people trick you or lie to you. We got the scriptures right here. And that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Next, turn to the book of Revelation. Just got one verse written down here. Revelation chapter 3, verse number 8. Chapter 3, verse 8. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, for thou hast little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Kept thy word. It's talking about the, the Church of Philadelphia. In the last days, and I wrote down in my notes, says, True believers in the, these last days will keep the word. Amen. And not denied my name. If you don't love the if how 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 can I say this? If you don't love the Lord, you're gonna deny a denial. And how do you love the Lord? You love Him by getting in His Word. So you have proper fellowship. Let the Word of Christ uh, forgive me for this one. By the one was the verse go? Uh, Word of Christ dwell richly in you. Yeah. First time here, brother, and working, trying to work this out. So, anyways, I'll go back to the very first verse that I want to title this sermon: "To whom shall we go?" To finish off, it's just a quick sermon here, brethren. John 6, 68 again. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. Amen. That'll be it for now, brethren. Lord willing, as the Lord allows, as the Lord allows, I plan on uh, coming out with more sermons, more 
talks, talks to the body of Christ, edify the brethren, and witness to the lost. The biggest thing though, this way uh, I want this to be my first video, is from watching other brethren, especially uh, Brother Brian Dellinger, hope I pronounced that right, King James Video Ministries, is the biggest thing is, in my eyes, the Lord revealed it to me too, is that they don't want you to have the word. They want people to not have the word of God, basically. It's the way Satan attacks people in the world and the deceive people, deceive people, is getting people away from the word. The most important thing is go to the word, go to the Lord. And uh, yeah, that'll be it, brethren. Thanks for watching, and uh, just pray for me and. Praise the Lord allows. I'll come out with more and more studies, more talks, and amen. Thank you all. God bless you.